damn it, Dean. I don't know. I'd, I'd go with the, the, the PlayStation and this stack of games. Two of these I'm going to add to my collection. The rest will be resale. Give me a price. Man. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to say five bucks for everything. going on beautiful people of youtube stream being welcome to another live episode and as always let me know what you guys have found out there in the wild this week i'm super excited to finally be able to get out and do some hunting that hurricane that storm that came up from the south has really messed up a lot of the hunting around here but finally i was able to get out this saturday and as you'll see let's check a look coming tomorrow uh probably not Now she's a purse lady. Now you trying to shackle one over on her? No, I don't. Uh... Where'd you come across this stuff at, Dean? Storage locker? Yeah. Good fun. I got PlayStation Silver one in there, and Xbox Black. The little small silver PlayStation? Yeah. It's just in that or not? Uh, is it real scratched up? This thing shows scratches pretty good. What? what the silver doing? PlayStation. Oh, you're probably talking about like PlayStation. I'm thinking of like a Slim. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out though. Slim yeah, let me, let me see it. All right, so here we are with the first pickup at the flea market. And before people get too crazy, you know, saying, man, you are so rude to this guy. Understand one thing. This is a good buddy of mine. I've known him for many years. And every time I'm at the flea market, I make it a point to stop, see how he's doing, talk with him. But we've known each other for so long. We've been friends for so long. We kind of banter back and forth. It's, it's kind of a comedic joke each time to see who's going to get the better deal. He resells. He knows that I resell. And it's just it's just fun to talk with people like this. That's why I always say become friends with your vendors. You would be completely surprised on the deals that you can get. He buys storage units, so he'll bring all his inventory down from what he finds and put it out on the table. And he can make some good money that way. Broke my box. There's a, oh. You didn't see that ding? What? Nothing. See what? What you do? No. Drop it. Oh, that's a shame. That's going to be your biggest example of why you should always check your cases. Never assume that the game's inside it. Unfortunately, Sonic Adventures did not have the game, so I'm going to check every single one of these discs. Even though they're PlayStation, there is a possibility it could be in there, but unfortunately, I did not find it. No, you don't have anybody? Damn it, Dean. I was needing this game right here. The one our game, huh? <laughs> Yeah. I wish. Uh, nah, this is a, that was a Dreamcast game. Oh. Oh, yeah. It is. Where's that? Look at this thing scratched up. That's like a played lottery ticket right there. You know it's a failure. Where's scratch <laughs> Just talking nonsense to you. Uh. I'm trying to find something so you can knock it down more. Well, yeah. <laughs> You do the same thing I do out here, except I'm honest. These games ain't worth anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you picked them out. Uh, oh, you saw the other thing. Yeah, uh, 360s, man, they're always hit or miss for me. I'm always worried they're going to be a dud when I get them. I don't understand why there's no power cord or not. Uh, there ain't no telling. Um, I might need maybe some still have to dig on it yet. I just got it yesterday. 
boys put all the power tools and stuff in a separate bag, and then they get separated from the unit. Damn it, Dean. I don't know. I'd, I'd go with the, the, the PlayStation and this stack of games. Two of these I'm going to add to my collection. The rest will be resale. Give me a price. Man. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to say five bucks for everything. I'm going to have to give you to give me change for a 50. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, reasonably. Uh, I will say some of the pricier games in this are scratched up. Yeah, you're going to hear it from me. I know. Um, I can't do that. There's no way possible. Now nah, I got I got a I'm resurfacer. Twenty bucks. I was hoping twenty for everything, but anyway, we're too far away from it. Twenty for all this? No, that right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since it's you, Dean, I'd give you thirty with the PlayStation. That's just because I can't use that controller. That's the joysticks are jacked up on there. They don't sell. What? How much? 30 for everything the PlayStation that stack of games right. I don't normally do that high for people I don't know nothing else here just nah nothing there I need or I can do anything with hey can I have this case so it's empty why not I might find a game maybe I hope you do let me know that's right. one of the better ones um, do you got a uh, bag or a box I can put this in thing? So this was an interesting pickup right here. My wife actually pointed this out. I've bought from this lady many times, but here lately her prices have been really all over the place. She can have a Game Boy Color on the on the table for forty dollars, and sometimes she's even priced games somewhat individually. So I I haven't really avoided her. I just haven't you know really messed with her. So my wife says, "Hey, did you see those Wii games?" And I look over and there was two solid good Wii games. And I asked her how much. She said two for five. I couldn't argue that price. I almost thought about picking up the GTA fives. Uh, but I passed and just, just went with the Wii games. Looking at them later, they were a little bit too scratched for me. The Wii games were in excellent shape, but kudos to my wife for getting my attention back onto this lady. I'm going to have to stop and uh, see her more often now that I see that her prices are a little bit more you know, reasonable for me. All right, honey, we give her $5. I got two of them. I got a buddy that's all about cameras. I'm, it's always asking me to look out for stuff for him. Negotiable. A negotiable five. <laughs> oh, I was telling her I said, pick system. Pick a negotiable six bucks? Well, if, I, if I throw in the film, this is film. Then it's a negotiable it's a, seven. A Awesome. All right, I'll do that. So it I gave does you. need a new battery. Battery. Okay. One of these. Uh, yeah, they, yeah. The, oh, the C batteries. Tiny. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Okay. That's no problem. You throw in the little little thing and make it ten. This one. Yeah. Oh um, my goodness. See, she's haggling. I'm not even doing no uh, no business. Um, we already we already I'm bought we already bought this now. Like, You're tapping us out. <laughs> That's so fair. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, by the way. There's so many rare occurrences when it comes to yard sales and flea markets, whatever it may be. You know, the random callback from a number you gave, which is why you should always grab their number. But this is one of those situations. If you saw in the previous yard sale footage, this guy was actually there. I don't know if he was the boyfriend, the husband. I, I, my guess is the boyfriend obviously lives in a different place. But I asked the lady if she had any video games, gave her the list, and this guy says, well, I got an N64 back at the house. If you want to follow me to it and pick it up for 30 bucks. And as you're going to see, this was, I mean, I couldn't say no to that for a five-minute drive. It's all good. I appreciate you coming out and doing this for me. Sweet. Yeah, and the nostalgic feelings. Oh, it looks like there's something in here from a Switch. Uh, are you sure? Yes. I am. Yeah, HDMI. The, no, I don't need it. Thirty dollars, my friend. I appreciate it. Thanks. Take care. Thank you, man. Yeah, absolutely.
So this is the last pickup, really. I, like I said, this was just Saturday. I, did, I have not had the chance to really hunt with all the rain we've been getting. Uh, but we're going to talk about, you know, ink. And ink is a controversial subject when it comes to reselling. There's a few reasons why. Number one is a lot of people don't know that you need to check expiration dates on ink. And yes, it does have it. When it's out of date, it's a lot harder to sell. Would you make my morning by going three for all of them? No, gotta have five. So you're going to break my heart that bad? Yeah, five bucks. <laughs> all right. Secondly, when it comes to things like this and various other listings, there is what's called trademark policy on eBay. And most famously, there's Velcro. Let's say you have a pair of generic Velcro kids sneakers and you use Velcro in the title. Next thing you know, you're going to get a message that says your listing was pulled due to trademark infringement. And this does happen, believe it or not, quite often with, with more brands than others. With uh, cartridges with with ink cartridges, you know, toners, things like that. It can happen. I've heard about it many times before. I've been lucky; it hasn't happened to me. But always be careful. Do a little bit of research if you can. Make sure that your brand that you're you're going to sell is not commonly tagged. But always remember there is that risk involved. So I picked all five of those up for five dollars. I'm going to take that risk, and she wasn't going to budge on the price, but it's still fun to try. Uh there's not a lot out this morning. We've. Well, the, the, that storm that came through, that hurricane that brought all that rain up here, yeah. it's kind of scared some people away. Yeah. Now, the rain today, I don't think it's going to be till later on, but maybe the heat's going to keep people away, too. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see some new faces on the Discord, as well as the new Facebook page. I'll leave the links to those in the description, as well as a pinned comment. But to everybody out there in this wonderful world, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.